In a gas turbine unit, air enters the combustion chamber at 550 kPa, 277C, and 43 meters per second. So let's draw our combustor. Air enters from the left at 550 kPa, 277 C and an initial velocity of 43 meters per second. The products of combustion leave the combustor at 511 kPa. So it is leaving here. 511 kPa. 1004 C and an outward velocity of 180 meters per second. Liquid fuel enters with a heating value of 43,000 kilojoules per kilogram. Uh, kilogram. Uh, so let's call that our QF. 43,000 kilojoules per kilogram. For fuel air ratio of 0 0.0229. Fuel air ratio. What is the combustor efficiency of the unit in percent? So we're looking for EC in percent. So in order to find our combustion efficiency, or rather combustor efficiency, we need to find the heat um, absorbed by the fuel over the heat supplied by the fuel. So first we are able to get the heat supplied by the fuel, which is given by the fuel air ratio, multiplied by the heating value. And we have both of these already, so we can just put the values in. And the heat supplied by our fuel is... 984.7 kilojoules of fuel per kilogram of air. Next, we need to find the heat absorbed by the fuel. So if you noticed, this is actually a steady flow equation. So steady flow equation is given by change in kinetic energy plus change in enthalpy is equal to heat supplied by a fuel. And change in kinetic energy is 100, or rather 1 half mv squared, plus the change in enthalpy of H2 minus H1. Now, as you can see, we don't have a given mass, so we can assume that m is equal to 1, or in a per kilogram basis. And we also don't have any form of um, enthalpy in the given, so we do have to use our approximation formula, which is specific heat of air times the change in temperature, which we do have. Now, before you use this, we should, we should assume that P1 is equal to P2, meaning the pressure is constant. As you can see, 550 and 511 are pretty close to each other, so although they're not exactly equal, they are approximately equal. And we should be able to use the specific heat of air, which is simply 1. So further, um, so further explaining this uh, equation, what we do have a change in velocity over here, so this becomes one half v2 squared minus v1 squared plus specific heat of air times the change in temperature is equal to q sub a. And we do have this, we have this right here. Uh, this is one, and delta t can simply take this and subtract this. And we should be able to get our uh, heat absorbed by the fuel.
So let's try let's try putting our values in. Okay, now this will actually return a value that is um, in joules. So we have to convert this into kilojoules by dividing 1000. So be very careful with your units here. And we get a value of 742.28. 742.28. Kilojoules of fuel per kilogram of air. Okay, so now we can take this and simply put the values in. And we get an exact value of 75.38 cents. And that is our final answer. If this helped, consider liking, subscribing, and supporting me on Patreon.